Good is good, you. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be talking about the free Gilbert Arenas that is here in NBA 2K24. My team, yes, guys, a free Dark Matter point guard for you guys. Now, look, is Gilbert Arenas ever going to be the best point guard in the game? I mean, in his 2K19 days, maybe. At this stage, probably not. But he is 6'4", one of the best releases in the game. And honestly, defensively, the card is really solid as well. So let's talk about Gilbert Arenas specifically, and then let's talk about the grind. So Gilbert Arenas, obviously 6'4", great three ball, good ball handle, defensively very solid, very elite. 68 badges, 38 on Hall of Fame. Doesn't get much better than that. Best part, in my opinion, about Gilbert Arenas is you can do it in offline. It's not even like you have to be good at the game. Do it in triple threat offline, get 100 wins. You've got a really good point guard. Now, if you have Harden, if you have Austin Reeves, even Jason Kidd, the locker code, is going to be just as good as Gilbert Arenas. So if you're one of those guys, if you have like Jason Kidd and then like, let's just say James Harden or even SGA, is Gilbert Arenas going to play over those guys? I mean, I think he's probably better than Jason Kidd, maybe a little better than James Harden, but it's not that big of a deal. So I don't want you guys to specifically grind like crazy for the card, but I also do want you guys to understand that Gilbert Arenas is more than solid for a free card in my team, and especially if you are just starting the game. Meanwhile, as you do get 100 wins, you're going to get a lot of MT. You're going to get a lot of rewards. Might even get the Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade as you do go up the ranks. And that's probably my most important thing. Is as you're grinding this out again, you're going to get a lot of MT. You're going to get uh, a lot of levels uh, as well. Like, again, you use a double XP boost. You're going to really notice yourself really leveling up in my team. You activate one of these things, hop into a triple threat offline game. That's really where you're really kind of what you wanted to do. Obviously, using a prize ball and going from there. Now, for me specifically, what is your plan of attack in triple threat, threat offline? How long is it going to take? How to get through wins quickly? Well, first thing I want to say is reason I like offline your internet doesn't matter and honestly how good you are at the game really doesn't matter as well like you can use even a kyle corver steph curry really doesn't matter for the sake of this video i'm going to use steph curry as well as a couple of golds but again it really does not matter whether it's steph even Devin booker uh, kyle corver there are so many different options you can use again for the sake of this video i'll use steph curry now let's talk about how long it takes per game again game and then you got to go through getting rewards all those things Again, I'm up against SGA as well as two Emeralds. Why do I use Golds? So the rest of his squad isn't great. Like Kevin Duckworth shouldn't be able to get stops and neither should Larry Sanders. Although Larry Sanders defensively isn't bad, but okay. That's a bad start to the game. Steph not even getting behind the three-point line. Pretty rough there. But I think Andre Drummond even for me has some sort of brick wall. So, I mean, that should help me get open as I did accidentally shoot a drifter right there. But my whole thing is normally... I can get through a triple threat offline game and the rewards in like three minutes. Obviously, this one is probably going to take a little longer considering the start to the game was not good at all. But that's how long it normally does take me. Now, normally, if I'm really sweating, I'll use Kyle Korver. I think Kyle Korver probably is, is one of the better guys just to use in general. Just because, I mean, you don't even have to be open. You can just shoot anything with the card and the shot will probably go in. But seven threes, all you need in every specific game. Now, as you're grinding this, you can do agendas, specific agendas, uh, you know, for, let's say, the uh, if you don't have Dark Matter stuff, you can go get it. Specific agendas for, you know, the, the agenda challenges for the free pack as well. You can do all of those things while grinding for, for Gilbert Arenas in my team, as I'm right now struggling to even get my feet set. But so far, I mean, we're about a minute and 30 in, and I've got two threes. And even if you aren't good at the game, let's say games take you, I don't know, four minutes to get done per game. You look, 15 games an hour within, what, seven hours you can have Gilbert Arenas, which sounds like a lot. But again, if you just grind a little bit every single day, it really is not truly that bad. So what I would try to do, run two bigs, a, a primary guard that you can really create with, and you'll have Gilbert Arenas in no time. Now, for me, guys, I don't necessarily love playing offline. I, I don't like it at all, to be honest. But I do think Gilbert Arenas is solid enough where it's like, if I didn't have a good team or even for my no money spent squad series, guys, I could make the case it's worth my time. And, and I'm not saying that for sure for you guys it is, but I'm just saying you can make that case because offline is super easy to grind and everybody can do it. Number two, Gilbert Arenas is probably at minimum what? Top 10 point guard in the game. Obviously, SGA is better. 
but Gilbert Arenas is going to be better than a guy like a Dark Matter Steph Curry, who I am using in this video. So even with my slow start, guys, I'm probably on pace to get through this game in about three minutes, which is not bad at all. And again, using a prize ball, just slowly leveling up the rest of my squad as I am grinding triple threat offline. Steph Curry, another green light. And just like that, one more three we will be well on our way. And this is the first win out of 100 total. Am I going to get Gilbert Arenas? Probably eventually, but he is in a grind that I'm like locked in on. I'm, I'm more worried about getting, you know, Glenn Rice cards like that than uh, a, a guy, let's say, like Gilbert Arenas. But if you're grinding Glenn in Triple Threat Offline, 100 wins, you're already well on your way towards Glenn Rice over 10% of the way there if you do knock out the 100 wins in a triple threat offline so that game got done in three minutes again you're gonna crack the ruby prize bowl you're gonna get a reward uh after the game as well and these are the things that really make your account in that next position now 500 mt i'll take the risk i only get 300 mt but boom can go into your next game right there it took me about three minutes for that game and at that rate i mean five hours later i will have gilbert arena so that's kind of my recommendations on how to grind it. Use a guard, use a couple of gold bigs, and before you know it, you will have Agent Zero home. Now again, these Vortex challenges, you gotta win 10 triple third offline games using three pink diamond or higher players. I didn't even use a pink diamond and higher player and I got that done, but definitely you could use that to get those 10 games done. And then any of these other things that you can do in triple threat offline, like getting blocks, you can uh, really rack up this free Vortex pack as you do go through things so just some kind of slight suggestions for you guys try to combine things as much as possible even in these completed season agendas for the bold set any of these things steals right do that triple threat offline rebounds with pistons players triple threat offline these uh points in the or these dunks you can get some of them done triple threat offline so there are tons of things these threes you can get done uh that's triple threat online but again uh, those are the types of things that i personally would try to combine as you are grinding for Gilbert Arenas. Otherwise, the grind's going to be slow. It's going to be pretty boring as well. But you should notice your MT go way up. Should notice, you know, you were rising up the level, stuff like that, as you are grinding for the Dark Matter Agent Zero. Look, if I had more time today, I would lock in on Gil getting Gilbert Arenas. It's just, it's going to be super busy for me until, uh, you know, next week. So that's just kind of where I'm at right now as far as agent zero is concerned let me know your thoughts down below in the comments are you guys grinding for gilbert arenas are you guys you know focused on something else like for me again my main focus right now still is my team unlimited but let me know your thoughts on agent zero down below in the comments guys drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new and as always man i love you guys have a blessed day